please hit that subscribe button. Hey, everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores. And we're live. Hey, everybody. So we have a fairly big trade from yesterday to talk about between the Colorado Avalanche and the Chicago Blackhawks, and it involves Brandon Saad. Before we fully get into it, I just ask that you please subscribe if you are new and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. Both of those things really help out a lot and are much appreciated. But let's talk about this trade here, which I saw a lot of Blackhawks fans really, really upset about. They sent defenseman Dennis Gilbert, who's kind of like a depth D-man, AHL, NHL borderline guy, and forward Brandon Saad to the Colorado Avalanche in exchange for defenseman Anton Lindholm and defenseman Nikita Zadorov. So, as far as uh, NHL players are concerned, it's pretty much Saad to the Avalanche and Zadorov to the Blackhawks. And then Lindholm and Dennis Gilbert are both kind of depth, organizational depth guys. I think they could be bottom pair defensemen at the NHL level. Um, but for the most part, those are kind of depth players. The big pieces here are Zadorov going to Chicago and Saad going to Colorado. Now, when you look at the talent level of the players, you know, Zadorov and Saad, Saad is obviously the winner there. And it, I know a lot of Blackhawks fans are not happy because they obviously gave up the better player in this trade. But they get Nikita Zadorov, who's still fairly young, a good physical bottom pair, could be middle pair D-man. I think Zadorov's best suited to be a bottom pair guy. But defense is an area that Chicago desperately needed to work on. Um, defense is an issue for them. That decor is not good. Um, it's somewhere that they needed to improve. Does Nikita Zadorov make the Chicago Blackhawks better defensively? Yes. I, I'm a pretty big fan of Zadorov. I don't think you want him playing a huge role. I don't think you want him playing 20 minutes a night. But in the right situation and in the right role, Zadorov's a very effective, physical, big defenseman. And that does help Chicago. The problem here for the Blackhawks is what they gave up. And that is Brandon Saad, who... Now, the, certainly Brandon Saad is not the player he was when the Blackhawks were winning Stanley Cups, like in 2015. But Brandon Saad is still a very capable middle-of-your-lineup goal scorer. He can play second line. He can play third line on a really good team. Um, but he's still a guy who's, who's going to probably score 20-plus goals. And now you add him into an avalanche lineup that is already extremely talented, already extremely good. And you get, you add Brandon Saad into that as well. And, I mean, you, you're just looking at another fantastic offensive addition for the Colorado Avalanche. So, at face value, the Avalanche absolutely won this trade. And I think that's why Blackhawks fans are so upset. Because they gave up Brandon Saad for basically a bottom pair D-man. And that is not going to sit well with Blackhawks fans. And I don't, I don't blame them. It certainly shouldn't because... As much as I think Zadorov is a nice addition for the Blackhawks, you have to get more for a guy like Brandon Saad, and they were not able to do that. Now, the good news is, is um, it does open up um, some cap space because Saad's cap hit is much, much higher than Nikita Zadorov. So it does open up some cap space, but that doesn't mean anything unless Chicago goes out and does something with it. So... Um, it's been a really interesting offseason for the Blackhawks. Um, their goaltending situation is not good. They knew they needed to improve the defensively. They knew they really needed help everywhere. But um, they've kind of gone out and, and gone back into rebuild mode a little bit. And, and they're making some moves here that I just am a bit confused by. And this is one where at the end of the day, I think you look at the return and, and you think that Colorado easily won this trade. So... Um, I certainly understand why Blackhawks fans are upset. Um, I do like Nikita Zadorov, and I think he's a good bottom pair D-man who can play that role very, very well. But when you're giving up a player like Brandon Saad, you're expecting more than that in return. And um, Blackhawks fans are once again not happy with Stan Bowman. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to 
Our uh, Patreon merchandise store and donation links are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.